I'm going to uh, take some screws here from one of the other hard drives. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these IDE drives. I'm inclined to just, I don't know, pull the data off of them and retire them, but uh, so I can't afford all the extra storage right now. So just, I mean, even just having these extra two, 200 gigabyte drives for storage, you know, as I mentioned, uh, in one of the previous episodes, it's not so much about the speed, it's just about the space. So here we go. We'll put, uh, put the two, three terabytes basically as neighbors here. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not anywhere near as tight as it was in the other bay. Yeah, I think the bottom must have gotten slightly warped because um, it was a lot harder to put the first one in. There we go. We'll put both. We'll we'll do the screws for the uh, for this side for both of them. And uh, get those. And then we'll flip it over when we've got all the other drives put in basically. Okay. Good. And we'll put the two terabytes. Actually, you know what? We'll put the two now we'll put the two terabyte on the Yeah, because see that way this way all three all three drives are right in front of the uh or right behind the the front fan. So we should keep them all nice and cool, which is good. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to having being able to use these two externals at full speed. Um I didn't actually know that the, the two terabyte one was a seventy two hundred RPM. That's that's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Okay, so I just need to pull a few more screws here. This uh, IDE Seagate Barracuda that I'm just pulling the screws out of is also 7200 RPM. So I actually do have a few pretty nice performance drives. The only limitation obviously on it is the, the fact that it's IDE, so it's not as fast as, as SATA. But uh, yeah, I think these, these drives are gonna perform quite nicely in their new home. Come on. Oh, you bitch. Here's the other one here. There we go. Some screws are just a little stubborn. Alright. There we go. I guess it's okay to use the uh, magnetized screwdriver over here because it's not really... It's not like we're rubbing it all over the platters or anything. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Ah, and let's flip them over again. screws in and these will be all good to go so between these three drives here I basically have eight terabytes of storage um, I'm planning to get at least one more three terabyte probably more I've actually heard that uh, Western Digital apparently recently announced a new line of hard drives basically uh, a new type of hard drive. I'm guessing it's an offshoot of the recent uh, advanced file format. The uh, whole deal with advanced file format is uh, previously hard drives would basically read data in chunks that were, uh, what is it, 500, 512 kilobytes in size. With advanced file format, it actually reads chunks that are 4096 kilobytes in size. That's quite a huge improvement, because what it means is it'll be reading more chunks of data, 
I guess, per cycle, um, which means faster read speeds and uh, more just more efficient drive usage, basically. So these new drives that uh, Western Digital is coming out with <laughs> use something similar to that. And um, apparently we'll have a starting capacity of 10 terabytes. So yeah, needless to say, as someone who does a shit ton of video, which takes up a shit ton of space, the concept of having uh, having three terabyte drives is something that is very sexy to me. So yes, I definitely plan to invest in those when they come out. I don't have any idea when they're coming out though. They, I, I couldn't actually even find the official announcement. It was my, uh, my boss at work told me about it. He'd heard, he caught wind of it basically and thought I would be interested. And he thought correctly. Um, yeah, so just uh, supplying power to the drives here. Yeah, I find it amusing that uh, SATA drives still have jumpers, even though they don't use them. I guess maybe you use them for setting up RAID arrays. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mess around with that stuff. I know some people are all gaga over RAID arrays. But I prefer just a JBOD, as they call it. JBOD, just a bunch of disks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so put that in there. Good. Put that down there. Uh, say to say to say to. Hockley dockley. So let's uh, let's actually start with the bottom one, or no? Actually, do actually have a Western Digital brand uh, SATA cable here that I picked up during my my last days at uh, um, Best Buy. So let's use that for the bottom one here. There we go. And what's the number amount here? So it doesn't really matter, does it? G SATA. Oh, that's SATA three. Yeah. Or no, they're all are they all SATA three? SATA three, SATA three, SATA three. G SATA two. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I just gotta see which way they go here. This way, I think. There we go. Okay. Thing I love about SATA is it doesn't really matter where you plug them in. Just kind of can figure it all after the fact. the glory days of IDE. You'd have to go in and manually fuck around with jumpers. Sometimes for hours until you figured out the right jumper settings. Okay. I think the only component left to go in is the, uh, the DVD drive. And then I think we're done. I think we're actually ready to fire this puppy up. Start the long, laborious process of uh, oh, does this not actually go on when there's screws? Oh crap! 
<laughs> it doesn't need screws because it has these clips. I'm an idiot. I was like, what the hell? Why isn't it going on? All right, so I guess it just needs screws on the other side. It's actually good because now I have extra screws. So now I can properly mount those two IDE drives back into the quad core. Or, oh no, I can't do them here because I don't have enough Molex connectors. Oh well. And close. Done. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Good. All right. I'm not going to mess around with the quad core right now. Basically, just the only thing I have in the quad core right now is um, basically the C drive and the old IDE DVD burner. And <laughs> that's it. Oh, and there's one external hooked up to it as well, huh, which I could turn into an internal. It's kind of a clicky drive, though. I don't know if I really trust it. So I'm thinking, yeah, no, I think we're just going to stick with using that for temporary storage and then just basically as a backup drive for now for when I'm doing stuff like this. Good. What is your problem? Okay. There we go. Okay. Just need to be a little more aggressive. So this last space will reserve for a new three terabyte drive, which uh probably be adding fairly soon actually because um, I really desperately need the space <laughs> all right so still don't know where that goes so we're just gonna tuck it underneath and forget about it uh, tuck this underneath and forget about it I think that's it. I think we're good. Can't really. Yeah, let's just move this underneath there. Yeah, I can't really do. Oh, fuck's sake. Get in there. Oh, yeah, we just got to plug in the other fan. And then we should be good to go. Make sure it's set on. Hi. Maybe we'll just set it on medium. I don't know if it actually, uh, if it will actually automate or not. But I guess we'll find out. So, this one, I think we were just going to plug in. It says PDIF. Where did I find that fan plug? Uh, around here somewhere. This, uh, damn it. Is that it? System pin. No, it's a three pin. We need a three pin. Uh, damn it, I found one too. Is that it there? That's a power fan. Hmm. Yes, excuse the back of my head again. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Okay. So easy to uh, lose track of where shit is in these cases. There we go. Perfect fit. There we go. Yeah, that case fan like just barely fits. <laughs> That's awesome. And I love that it's a uh, mostly clear side as well. That's that's pretty nice. All right. Now put it all together and 
fire him up. There's not going to be much to see. Let me fire it up for the first time. But I guess I can, uh, I'll plug in one of the monitors just so you can, oh shit, I need to put in the disk drive, or the DVD drive. <laughs> I need to go pee and then I'll go do that. I didn't think that was right. I was pretty sure I was forgetting something. <laughs>